here we are guys, it's the 20th of July now, two days after the last video when I was uh, doing the beta. Just putting it into the field, first field of winter barley, to the hybrid winter barley. With our X in the 717 with a 10.5 meter header, it's uh, new machine to us, it's not new, it's six years old, it's a 2014 model. And then in the background you can see the tractor and trailer as well. I'm happy to add this audio over the top because my voice was set quiet, you can, you can hear me. So. I'm not sure how the yield will be. It's, it's a bit thin and the straw isn't that, it's very very short what it is so, and we'll just put it into the into the field here. Yeah, the flag of England is up there. Decided to put it on that auger so when it opens it looks quite good. Here we are, view from the front I'm on the road now. You see them coming into the corner. Having a few problems with a few trees here because they're a bit low hanging. The tank just folds in a bit as it goes under the edge, so it's not too bad. I've got a straw trailer on the back and I'm not going to get a, a load of straw. slow down because it's a variable transmission instead of the PTO cutting right down and dying and I record now we're going to go now turn around to the top of the field and when we go down the field slow down so it's starting to pull faster already you'll see that I'll pull 10 kilometers out no problem at all because the weight is pushing it down the hill as opposed to pulling up the hill and now I've, I've just got it, I'm driving it on my foot. If you drive it on your foot, it will go. And now if I press the cruise button, that will go up to 10 kilometers now, no problem at all. 9.892, there, 10.92. It's pushing the track, but the track is isn't struggling. You can probably hear the difference in the sound of the, the sound of the engine, because it's, it's, it's easy. And if I go to, I don't know what I can do, I've done this one for a while back. 
performance uh, in speed. The engine power, so you've got the engine power, it's only using between 30 and 50 percent. So when we turn around and get back up, up the hill, you'll find that I'm probably, I would have thought, being at 100 percent engine power. Yeah, the guys are over there, they've almost got the, the, the mode for, ready to take away. Yeah, if we just slow them down the bottom to make the turn, the bales have just fallen off. Sometimes the hill is so steep they don't actually fall off, but this time they've actually fallen off. Oh, they're doing it out. So we're right, now going back round up the hill. Set engine power 72, right, put it in, put it in. We're not bailing yet. So I think I've probably got to nearly 100% most of the time here. 98-95% the whole time. And the fuel rate will, will go up as well. So we're going to get the, um, the fuel rate up to 95. Something I've seen on other people's videos, what's that lunging? If you, need, if you listen, you can hear the engine. As the, the plunge goes back, that actually makes the bales, it rams it, rams it tight. It's when the actual plunger goes back, that obviously is the, when the real load is on the baler. And also on this one, this goes to run at three, you're supposed to get at the top here, so this, this is one. If that says two, like it is now, or it's turn two, it's because I, can, I have not got enough power to put up the hill, because it's that it feeds the baler one to one. If you get it on two, which is what you get when you go up the hill, there's nothing I can do about it. The slabs tend to be a bit, what I call slabs, or on here it's called flakes, tend to be a bit thicker, and the bale doesn't, the bale doesn't form so well. There we go, a little bit of a talk about baling and how it works. about the fuel rate going up the hill. It was about 40, 40 litres a heck uh, an hour. Now we're down to in between 20 and 9. It all depends when that plunger goes back to what um, what pressure it's putting on the system. While we're driving down the field, I've got three bales on here for my camera here. What I've done, I've just knocked the oil flow here, which on this green leaf, it's neutral. So it'll stop, it'll pause the, pause the system, that those three hours in the middle, I mean, just lift, in the middle of lifting the bale up. And then when I get to the bottom of the field, because I'm not actually bailing, so I finish this field, just come down the field to drop the bales in the right place. So, so the loader driver can pick them up, he doesn't have to drive all the way up the top of the field. So I've got to come down to the bottom field anyway to go through this gateway here to the next field. I might as well drop them. So what I do now, I just pull this lever back here, I relax that oil, you'll see the bale go up, and then you'll see them all fall off the back. So they're now there, ready for the loader driver over there to pick them up when he's finished, or when he gets there.